Jammed up joints at the base of the neck is the underlying cause of shoulder tightness in most people. But I've recently discovered an amazing technique using a massage gun to release those joints. And it's really effective at relaxing the muscles too. So let's check it out. I've noticed in my work as a chiropractor that if you use a massage gun over spinal joints, it can loosen the joints a little bit. But if you move the spine while using the massager, it magnifies the effect substantially. And it makes sense if you think about it. Imagine moving seized joints while the massage gun vibrates those joints. The added bonus here is that the vibration with movement helps to loosen the muscles more effectively too. Now you never want to use a massage gun over inflamed joints, so before we start, make sure you do this inflammation test. If you tilt your head back up and look up at the ceiling and it hurts in your neck, or you tilt your head from side to side, and as you're doing that, it hurts on the same side that you bend to, that means your spinal joints are inflamed, so you shouldn't be using a massager in the area. If one of those tests hurts, or you've been experiencing sharp pain with neck movement, you should be icing your neck instead. The technique I'm going to show you today is more for stiff, tight necks rather than sharp, painful necks. Okay, to do this percussion mobilizing technique, use the foam ball tip and put it here, in between the shoulder blade and the bony tips of the spine, if you want to focus on releasing spinal joints. Or anywhere in this broader area if you want to focus more on the muscles with this technique. Don't use it on the bony tips of the vertebra, Avoid the bony part of the shoulder blade and never put it in front of the trapezius muscle because there are important nerves and blood vessels there. Start off by tilting the neck slowly from side to side as you hold the foam ball gently over this spot. This opens the spinal joints to the side as you move. And it stretches and contracts the muscles that are knotted up too. Do this five times tilting both ways with a massage gun on the right and then five times on the left. Hold the massager in the opposite hand, so your right hand if you're doing the left hand side, and support the elbow with the other hand. This relaxes the muscles in the area, so do this for every step. Next do the same but with neck rotation this time, turning your head slowly to each side as far as you can comfortably. Five times both directions on the right, and then five on the left. Then we get into flexion and extension to really open up the joints. Look down at your belly button and then slowly look up. But don't go all the way up here, just go a third or halfway. Extension compresses spinal joints so we don't want to tilt the head back too much. Do five times with a massager on each side slowly. We finish off with a chin tuck movement because this is the best way to isolate motion at the base of the neck. Start off by sticking out your chest to extend the mid back, then protrude the neck and retract the neck. Five times forward and back. Only go forward three quarters of the way, but go back as far as you can comfortably. Stick to just doing five of each movement with the massager on one side and then five of each movement with the massager on the other. You don't want to overdo it. A good rule of thumb is to never use a massager for more than two minutes on any one spot. Anyway, I hope that helps. Let me know how you go in the comment section below. Okay, cheers.